Soft, cushioned, carbon plate. Ooh boy. What New Balance is doing in the long distance shoe market should not be overlooked. They've been cranking out hits that have gotten me excited for the last few running seasons and the new Super Comp Elite V4 is no exception. This is a flashy fluorescent foot vessel finding fantastic footing for those ferreting fast, fun, and flexible footwear. It's a blast. Okay, so starting with an uber soft layer of newly formulated fuel cell midsole, the Super Comp Elite V4 has plenty of incredible cushioning mixed with snappy speed, thanks in part to the durable carbon plate that springs into action with every step. A synthetic mesh upper keeps the ride airy and breathable while also not getting in the way of comfort. This shoe is simple. This shoe is fast and it's a freaking blast to run. Now there are so many shoes hitting the market from all brands that are vying for that coveted super shoe podium spot. But in my opinion, these may have a slice of that cake, but are they too expensive? We're gonna find out in today's review. Let's dive in. What is up everybody, Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for another Ginger Runner review. I'm excited about this one because it's the first review of 2024. Oh my God, I know the last video that I posted was talking about consistency. I'll get to that in just a minute. Today, we're talking about this shoe from New Balance. It is the Fuel Cell Super Comp Elite V4. And it's a spicy, spicy little shoe. All right, so before we dive into the review, a couple of things. Uh, as I mentioned, this is the first review of 2024. Uh, in my last video, I talked about consistency clearly I haven't posted a video in quite some time. I posted on Instagram this picture, uh, and you can go read the caption. It talks about all of the stuff that Kim and I have been going through, trying to start our family and stuff like that. Uh, so all I'll say is go check that out. That kind of explains where we're at with everything. If there's anything you want to do to help support us, honestly, the best thing you could do is join the GR crew, maybe grab a hat or a shirt. I've got some medical bills to pay and that goes a long way. Second, this is a review. So the FTC requires that I let you know that this pair of shoes was provided for review by Running Warehouse. I'm under no obligation to say anything positive or negative. I am not financially compensated in any way for anything that I say in this review. All opinions are my own. You're the first to see the review. No one has to approve it or anything like that. So give yourself a pat right there on the left shoulder. Let's dive in. If you're new to this channel and you have no idea how I review stuff, I like to talk about the things I like and dislike, call it the basics. Uh, today is no different. We're gonna talk about the things I like and dislike, starting as always with the things that I like. Springy. So I talked about the midsole in the intro. This shoe feels so good underfoot. This the new formulated midsole material is just so damn soft, cushiony, propulsive. It's just, Amazing. I'm just really liking the springy midsole. But in addition to that, with the Elite V4, you get the carbon plate, which gives you that snappy goodness. So not only are you getting comfort and squishy underfoot, but you're getting some snap and propulsive elements as well. That makes for a super fun ride and definitely one for those of you who want to pick up the pace, go fast. We all do. It's fun. Light. So the Super Comp Elite V4 is around 266 grams or 9.6 ounces, something like that. Super lightweight shoe for what it is, which is a massively cushioned, carbon plated, snappy, breathable, durable shoe. It is not a hyperweight track flat or anything like that. It does pack a punch as far as uh, volume is concerned and the amount of stuff that you have underfoot. But man, for all of this, at only 9.6 ounces, pretty great. And comfort. So I mentioned that that springy midsole is fantastic. The carbon plate snappiness and propulsive elements also really, really nice but all that combined can sometimes make for a harsh ride or something very stiff. Uh, it really wants to battle you in your running stride and this does not do that. This is a comfortable shoe in addition to being all the things that I've already listed. So that ultimately is a huge plus for me and I like it a lot. That being said, it's not all baked potatoes smothered in gooey gobs of delicious cheesy goodness or giant Costco bags of nerd clusters. There are a couple of things that I dislike about the Super Comp Elite V4. Let's get to those now. Expensive. It's a $250 shoe. Anytime a shoe crosses that $200 threshold, I gotta point out it's expensive. If you think it is not expensive, you are either rich or you are crazy. So for me, 250 bucks is a lot to spend on a shoe. I have talked about shoes in that realm in the past being worth your time and money. Uh, in this case, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, I'm gonna point out though, it is a dislike. 
it's just an expensive shoe. Durability, so this is more of a concern. It has not necessarily presented itself. Uh, I still have plenty of life on the outsole elements. The midsole is still very springy, very snappy, all that good stuff. What I am worried about though, is that the light mesh upper materials are not going to last for like hundreds and hundreds of miles. I have under a hundred in these at this point. Um, still holding up well, it is a concern. Not so much a worry, just something that I wanted to point out. Uh, they don't feel quite as durable as Elite's New Balance of the past. And finally, details. So at a $250 price point, you would think that this shoe would sort of stand on a podium all its own. Weirdly, New Balance made this $250 shoe look exactly like this $130 shoe. Uh, they are nearly identical, only, you know, the keen eye will notice that the instep or the medial side of the shoe has a color stripe on the Elite and it doesn't on the Rebel. But uh, they look identical, the materials are near identical, no carbon plate, but they're twice as much. And these do not feature a gusseted tongue like the cheaper Rebel, which is a huge miss in my opinion. So there's just some little details with the design of the shoe that at a $250 price point, you would expect New Balance to cross those T's and dot those I's. Uh, just doesn't quite feel like they nailed it in that department. But that is it for dislike. So I like to get a bit more specific in the breakdown segment of the review, uh, where I get to talk about the build quality, the comfort, the fit, the price, and the looks. We start, as always, with build quality. So I do think that the shoe is built quite well. I did express my concern that the shoe may not hold up over hundreds and hundreds of miles, but for a shoe that is certainly designed for the elite, for the fast, for the racing environment, it has a lot more life in it than I would expect. So far, I'm thinking it's built quite well. Uh, comfort, that is where I think this shoe sort of soars. When we're talking about super shoes or super snappy carbon plated shoes, there are a handful that are very comfortable in addition to being very fast. This is one of those. I uh, really think this is a comfortable shoe. Fit, not quite as wide as I would hope, especially across the forefoot. Uh, New Balances for me in the past have notoriously been more accommodating shoes. This isn't necessarily narrow, but uh, when you're talking about a super stack shoe with a carbon plate, I do like a bit more width in not only the outsole, midsole, but also the upper. Uh, I think we're getting a bit more of that dialed fit in this shoe. It's not terrible. I do not mind it whatsoever, but those of you who do have wider feet may notice that the shoe is uh, a little less accommodating than I think New Balance of the past. Price, 250 bucks, already talked about it. Oh boy, that's an expensive one. Might have to sell off a kidney or two. And finally looks, I'm gonna ding them a little bit for this. I think it looks great. The problem is that it looks exactly like the Fuel Cell Rebel V4 that New Balance just dropped. These shoes are too damn close to each other. Uh, because these are two different shoes entirely. They feel like different shoes. They look identical and that can be confusing. Not only from a marketing perspective, customer perspective, but from me sitting here reviewing the shoes, I almost put the wrong one on the shelf and I don't know if anyone would have noticed. Did you? Bringing us ultimately to our conclusion. I would say that the New Balance Fuel Cell Super Comp Elite V4 has too long of a name, but it is also an awesome shoe. I get so much joy running miles in the shoe, whether outside on the treadmill. Uh, I haven't raced in them yet, but that, you know, that's something I actually look forward to doing in this shoe. Uh, I, I can imagine running a half marathon, a full marathon in the shoe and enjoying every mile, well, until you hit the wall, uh, but just really enjoying that springy, soft, responsive, energetic goodness that this shoe exudes. If anything over $200 gives you the heebie-jeebies like it does to me, I can totally see you just wanting to resist the urge to get something like this, totally understandable. When it comes to the $250 super shoe market, there are a handful of options out there available to you. This is going to be one of the more enjoyable experiences. I do not think that the shoe is alienating. I do not think that it's going to only work with elites and not work for the average runner. I do think it can adapt to all foot shapes, sizes, speeds, everything. And that says a lot about this shoe and the quality that New Balance is putting out. So, is the New Balance Super Comp Fuel Cell Elite V4, switch those around, uh, is it a buy, try, or why? I'm gonna tell you it's a buy, uh, if you've got the funds. So, sell those old Pokemon cards you have sitting in the basement, uh, and then buy 20 pairs of these, because that's probably how much they're worth now. But, 250 bucks, lots to spend, but if you can afford it, buy them. Super fun shoe from New Balance. That is it for the review, my friends. What do you think of the Fuel Cell Super Comp Elite V4? Is the name too much for you to handle? 
Is it a shoe that you're excited about? Are you excited about the Super Comp Trainer, perhaps, that's coming out someday, eventually? Uh, let me know in the comments of this video. I will also be posting a review of the Rebel V4, which I now have on the floor here. I think that's what they are. Uh, hard to tell the difference. I will be posting a review of those as well, and uh, I definitely think that's worth a watch. Appreciate you, thank you for watching. Join the GR crew, get out there, train hard, race harder, part of the hardest, you know, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Have some fun being you. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>